Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to the My Favorite Things November 2018 release and review. I've got a few previously released things that actually some of this just showed up because I'd ordered it. So that didn't include this as well. So this is not part of the November release, but wanted to show it anyway. Um, last month they released the festive flamingos set. This was part of their card kit, but they've also started releasing the sets separately. I think this is the cutest little thing ever. So you got all the sentiments, uh, to someone who always makes my holidays warm, etc. There's coordinating wafer dies. So I got that. And then I ordered the Falala wafer die. I thought this would go really good with these because <laughs> I love that fala la 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 mingo. So I thought that was just so cute. So there was this one that was also released that I just, I love it. Love it. And then this gorgeous uh, perfect poinsettia dynamic set, which again, I love. There's like um, detail in all of the petals and the leaves that will emboss when you die cut it, which is just a nice, a nice extra touch. And then, of course, MFT had released this fabulous uh, Candyland 6x6 paper, which I ordered as soon as I could get my hands on it because it's basically rainbow and I love it. How fun are these? I just, oh, I love the snowflakes. I love all of it. I just really like the colors. So, yeah, you get all these fun patterns and colors. So, there's that. Let's get into the actual release. We've got this adorable um, snow special set with the little penguins. And then uh, sending joy and cheer you away, your snow special to me, etc. There's little like skating lines that you can add because they're all on skates, which just love. There's coordinating wafer dies. I've already like cut all my dies apart. So I'm getting them ready to use. I've got like ideas. So we've got that one. We've got the really cute, um, unbearably cute stamp set with all these little polar bears. Um, apologies if I'm not showing everything like direct. There has been a lot of attempts lately to try and combat the counterfeiting and everything else. So I'm, when I do these videos now, I'm trying not to show the stamp sets like straight on, you know? Um, when you look on the links though, if you want to get a better look, They've got, you know, the listings with all the watermarks across them now and that. Um, this is just a side note. Yeah, I am 100% in support of all these companies. MFT and Simon and W plus 9 and Waffle Flower and Honey Bee. It's like the list goes on. All these companies that I support, I only link to reputable sources for them, which is mainly Simon Says Stamp. Simon Says Stamp is a reputable resource for all these stamps as well as directly from the manufacturers. There's other reputable sources of course but I will only link and I only support. I do not support the counterfeiters. They are thieves. They are stealing hard-earned money from all these companies. So they're companies that they're trying. They're trying to find ways to prevent this and this is one of them is not showing the sets you know in pictures and that without watermarks across them etc because it's getting really bad and it is affecting people that I know. It affects me doing this as a job because it takes money out of everyone's pockets and it is supporting an industry that the counterfeiters are using stolen designs, uh, byproducts, manufa like byproducts and waste products from actual manufacturing and creating things that are literally harmful to people's health. So that's my small little disclaimer. If you do not like that, <laughs> please don't watch and unsubscribe. I, because I will not stop harping on this. It is something that is near and dear to my heart and to those that, like I said, I work with, work for, support, everything. So I do not, um, anything other than support the actual companies and the actual people and anything t otherwise any sort of promotion of counterfeiters or anything will be deleted from all my social media and if it continues that you'll get blocked so all that said that's why I don't like you know show everything so anyway back to <laughs> the video at hand we've got the frosty friend set with these adorable snowmen 
I really like these snowmen. They're just cute. I like the simplistic style of them. And then, of course, more really adorable sentiments. Courtney Wafer dies that I again cut out already. So there's little gifts and I just, I think it's so cute, so cute. And then of course we have this fabulous Birdie Brown set. There's also like some glare, which is okay. Uh, ready, set, snow. <laughs> I like that they're all on snowboards. There's just, I think that's the cutest thing ever. So you got their little snowboards. There's a separate little um, toque or like calf image. We call them toques in Canada. Um, little like swirls and a little like snow spot to you know show their speed some trees a bunch of adorable um sentiments you make everybody cooler snow kiss winter wishes etc so cute so cute coordinating wafer dive set for all of those got that one we've got this really cute here comes santa claus another really like I, got, I call it simplistic style, just like the clean lines, you know, that MFT is kind of known for. So yeah, all these cute little, like, I love this little Santa standing with the pile of gifts, the cute little reindeer, there's a little house, um, gifts, etc. And then sentiments, coordinating wafer dies so with that. And then we have this great one. This is the second set from um, Stacy. do you pronounce it Yakula? I don't know. I probably just butchered her name. I'm sorry. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Um, really cute. The uh, previous set, which of course isn't sitting at hand, and I had made cards with it already for my holiday, like my Christmas card series, and that was released a few weeks ago. So now we've got another one with he's he's wrapped in a cute little scarf. This one's on a little toboggan. This one's just kind of singing, like almost like singing. So we've got a um, bunch of cute little sentiments, some cute little trees. I really like these like snowflake images too. Oh. Guess he thinks you're special. Sending warm feathered hugs. Like, coordinating wafer dies. Adorable set. Absolutely adorable. So, got that one. And then we have this really cute, um, berry best friends one with like smaller little bear images. Little polar bears like fishing and whatnot. Just so cute. You're officially my best friend. You're my berry best friend. Wishing you a season filled with frosty fun, Christmas wishes, and polar bear kisses. Bear hugs and clothes. I like that a lot of these are not, because it's like a later November release, these aren't like full on Christmas, more just winter, winter sentiments and stuff. So, really like that. We've got this um, Little Angels set. I have ideas for this. So cute, really cute little angel images, and then a whole bunch of sentiments. Thank you for being my guardian angel, sending blessings of all good things your way, wishing you a heavenly holiday season, you were heaven sent, may there always be an angel by your side, you're an angel. Like, again, I like how it can be Christmas, but it can also be just like winter or thinking of you, you know? So they're coordinating way for dies. And then we have this one, this is the beautiful blessings. So we've got, um, you're my heart today and always, God made this day for you. you su your support means so much. I really like that one. I'm here for you always. I'm praying for you. Friends are a special gift from God. If your only prayer is one of thanks, it is enough. Let there be peace on earth. God is in charge and all is well. So that would also go really nicely with that. This also goes really nicely with, where did it go? There it is. Um, this is the cross dynamics die and... There's an A2 size card to kind of give you now. Like it's a good size, but not completely, you know, taking up the whole card. So just a nice size. Speaking of these cards, one of my favorites, of course, from the release is the Sassy Pants Holiday. <laughs> uh, I already did a video using this. I'll show those in a second. Um, it's beginning to look a lot like cocktails. Deck the halls and not your family. Fa la 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 la. This year, jingle all the way. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. The wine, that is. I was gonna do wine tags with that one too, because I was like, that would be perfect. Wine tags, yes. Merry Elfin Christmas, your festive AF, and I love it. Um, not another disclaimer. Uh, some people were quite offended by this set. Um, if you don't like it, don't buy it. Not everything is for everyone. That's the, that's the beauty of this industry. There are so many companies now, there are so many options, which I love because when I first started stamping, there was like two, basically, is what it seemed like. And then, you know, the plethora started opening up and more and more companies started coming on to the scene and more styles and 
everything and I love it. I love it. Not everything is for everyone. There are some styles that I just don't care for. There are some types of phrases and sentiments and just things that I'm not the biggest fan of but I just pass them by and other people absolutely love them and I think that's amazing. So when it comes to like snarky, sweary type sentiments, I know that's not for everyone. I think maybe it just kind of threw people off because MFT hasn't really delved too much into that. And I don't think they're gonna do a ton. This is my personal opinion, but I think like the sassy pants, like they've done a couple sets, you know, with the little sassier, snarkier sentiments, but they kind of like, they go up to that and that's, that's great. If it's not for you, it's not for you. I think it's hilarious, I love it. But I do get, and I totally understand, that for some people it's just n no bueno. And that's okay, because there is so many options for so many things, and that's what I love. Like, you can take it or leave it. There are, yeah, more and more out there, and so many options, and I just, I like the little bit of like the snarky sarcastic, because it's just so unexpected, and I, you know, people who know me, I wouldn't make it for everyone, but people who know me know that th that's the sort of thing that I would probably send them. <laughs> so anyway, this set I think is hilarious and I totally inspired the cards I made and I'll link to the video I used. These are previously released, these awesome, and I had done a video on the Margarita and Martini shakers. So of course I used it. It's beginning to look a lot like cocktails sentiment. And then on the inside I'd put the deck to halls and not your family. <laughs> love it. I think it's hilarious. So that will be linked as well and actually yeah that would be these wafer dies that I had done the previous on the margarita shaker window and frame and the martini shaker window and frame which are just fun. Just fun. So I got those and then this one of course it's hard to show when it's all in pieces. It's the folded fold up tags. So I was like, oh cute, like a tag set. I totally didn't realize <laughs> until I saw samples. I was like, oh, so you have your tag base. And then all these ones, and I was like, I just saw, and I didn't think anything of it, but actually the middle line here on all these three other ones, it's a score line. So it'll cut this little layer with a score line, and then you can layer that on top and with the score line. So you can have your little image, and then this can fold up, and you can have like, little space to write to and from or a little greeting or whatever. Love that. So you've got three options to layer on top of the base. And I think that is just the cutest thing. And then there's another piece that you can die cut to layer on the very top as well, just to give a contrasting color or glitter paper, or whatever. You've got more reinforcers, like three different styles, a fold over, a little scalp one, and just a circle one. So so many options. This is a really great tag set. <laughs> so we've got that one. And then we have this gorgeous, um, this is the Snowflake Window. I've kept mine together, but you can snip these apart. So you've got just the Snowflake Window and then you can use a different size rectangle die if you wanted, depending on what you're creating. So you could do a wider, like a larger, say stacks rectangle and then cut this window and then you have enough space to do like foam tape. Create a shaker, that would look gorgeous. This is one of those ones though where it's like you can just die cut it and layer it right over some glitter cardstock, add a sentiment and you're done. Love, love, love anything snowflake, love anything that can kind of make for simpler cards. So there's that one. And then we have the Get Well Soon circle frame which will fit MFT's circle shaker pouches. I like these, I really do. I think they're really fun. So it just says Get Well Soon around the perimeter and I really love like I would always you know you can add that and use add it to that big flower one that, that MFT has but I really love how a lot of people will die cut these regardless of like whatever sentiment and they use that as kind of like a frame for their images you know it's layered and then they'll have a stamped image etc and it was like oh that's a fun way to kind of add a sentiment you know I like when people think out of the box like that so we got that one, and then we have this fun one. This is the Christmas tree window. Same kind of idea as the snowflake one. So you die cut this, and it'll die cut all of this to create a window so you can layer, you know, some sponge, sponge color cardstock, some glitter paper, etc., underneath. And just, again, kind of clean and simple, but really cute. Really like that. And then last but certainly not least, this is the Peekaboo Wheel Dynamic Set which I'm kind of excited about. I'm finally, you know, figuring out how to do these sorts of things. I just did a video 
with the pizza slice one. This and that will kind of the same idea with this. Um, I like how you've kind of got options to wherever you want to place this. This is quite big, which I kind of like. So it will just fit on an A2 card if you center it. So that's pretty sweet too. So you would just have to make sure to put your adhesive like here and here. So you've got your fun little reveal wheel. You have the notch die to cut the top panel depending on where you want to place it. So that will expose the part where you want to turn your reveal wheel. You've got the circle die. That's what you use to back it. Again, if you haven't like ever used one of these, watch my video with the pizza card, which I will link to right there. Um, that will give you an idea of how these work. And then you've got a couple of reinforcement and then you have like some speech bubbles, just small ones, and then an oval. And you, with this size one, you could use a whole bunch of different dies, really, and place them. And that's why that pizza video would work, because I will totally, I could see myself cutting just a piece of transparency to figure out where I'd want to center the wafer die to create, you know, whatever it is you want to do. So, really fun, really easy to customize with this. So, yay, I'm kind of excited. So, that was the November plus extras release in a nutshell. Um, as always, I will link to everything in the description box below the video. I was about to apologize for my rant about the cover, but I'm not sorry for it. I would like to stand firm on what I believe and who I support and all that good stuff. And these companies need our support more than ever. And they're all wonderful and they're owned by amazing people amazing amazing people all of the companies that I support and promote their products and purchase and work with and everything they are phenomenal like I yeah I hands down favorite people all of them so that's it that's it links to everything will be in the description box below they'll also be on my blog on my blog they are picture links um, I'll have a link to these, this card video here at the very end. Um, and then there's the blog post, etc. So you can check that out if you are interested. I will be back very soon with tons more videos. I just, things have been a little bit crazy lately. I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying to get things done. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. More Christmas cards, more regular cards, more fun cards, all sorts of things coming over the next forever really so thank you all so much for watching for subscribing if you haven't subscribed i would love it if you did click the little notification bell then you get notified every time i upload because i'm all over the place i'm just i don't follow a schedule <laughs> i upload when i can around you know all the kids and work and life and everything so click the notification bell if you haven't already um thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and yeah, let me know your thoughts on all the things. I love reading everyone's comments and responding as often as I can. And yeah, I will catch you all very soon in the next video.